Myanmar coup. Could sanctions on the military ever work? As violence against Myanmar civilians mounts, Western powers have been ratcheting up economic pressure on the country's military following its internationally condemned coup. The US and UK, for instance, have imposed sanctions on Myanmar's two military conglomerates, Myanmar Economic Corporation, MEC, and Myanmar Economic Holdings Limited, MEHL, which control significant portions of Myanmar's economy and have interests across many major industries. The U.S. Treasury Department has also blocked assets and transactions with Myanmar's state-run gem company, a key source of income for the military authorities, while the EU has imposed sanctions on several individuals linked to the military. Human rights groups and democracy activists have long pushed for sanctions, arguing that they fund the military's repression of protesters. More than 600 people have been killed by security forces since the coup began. These actions will specifically target those who led the coup, the economic interests of the military, and the funding streams supporting the Burmese military's brutal repression, Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, has said. They are not directed at the people of Burma. Critics worry that the uneven pressure won't be enough to force change. The leverage is not really there, said Richard Horsey, a Myanmar expert with the International Crisis Group. 